So my last two videos on custom launchers on the Nvidia Shield, on the Fire Stick, on the Fire TV Cube got around about 700 comments. Now most of those comments were positive, uh, but there were quite a few questions that people kept asking again and again and again. So, so I thought I'd make this quick video today and answer some of those common questions. Everything from how do I find new wallpapers? How do I change my background image? Are widgets supported? Yes, they are and stuff like that. So let me answer those questions now. And if you still have questions after this video, then please leave me a comment below and I'll answer it for the next video. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so question number one, I'm trying to install the Wolf Launcher on my Fire Stick or Nvidia Shield or really any Amazon device. But for some reason, when I click on install, I get the message saying application not installed. Now this actually has a very quick answer. And the answer is because the Wolf Launcher is based off a mod of the ATV Launcher. If you already have the ATV Launcher installed, then you cannot install the Wolf Launcher. I've just done the opposite on my device. I already had the Wolf Launcher installed. And as we can see, when I try and install the ATV Launcher, I get this error. So the quick fix for that is if you do want to try the Wolf Launcher, all you need to do is uninstall ATV Launcher first. Next question is one of the most popular ones, which is how do I actually find more custom backgrounds to use on my custom launcher? Here we can see I'm using the Wolf Launcher with a nice background, but if I want to find another background, all I need to do is go over to Downloader and let's just go to google.com. Okay, let's type that in and let's click on go. I do recommend when you get to this page, actually make that as a favorite. So if you just go to the top, click on the hamburger menu and select add the current page to favorites because it just makes the process so much easier when you do want to find more content or more backgrounds to download. Let's click on save. And let's now just search for some wallpapers. So you can type in 1080p wallpaper or 4K wallpaper. And let's just do 1080p for now. Let's click on 1080p wallpapers. Let's scroll down. Okay, so this Unsplash website is a good one. So let's click on that. Let's scroll down. Okay, we've got some nice wallpapers over here. Uh, let's just go for, let's go for this one over here, it's cloud one. So I can now click on download. And that's it guys, that's how easy it is to download images from the internet onto your device. And now that we've downloaded it, how do I actually apply that? Let's just download one more just to show you how easy it is. Let's close this down. And uh, let's just find a slightly different one. And let's get this nice forest one. Okay, so let's click on download. So I definitely recommend the Unsplash website for these wallpapers. Some of the other websites do work, but you normally have to go through a few hoops before you can actually download the image. Here we can just see we get one download button. As soon as we click it, it downloads the image to your device. Okay, let's click on done. So we've downloaded two wallpapers over there. How do we now apply it? Well, let's press the home key. Let's bring up the menu. Let's click on launcher settings. Go to wallpaper. Go to select the wallpaper. Let's go to internal storage. Let's find the downloader folder. And here we can see some of the other ones I downloaded. Okay, let's click on that. Give that a second. And there you go, guys. So very easy to find wallpapers online. Just use Downloader, go to Google, search for 1080p images. You can download something and then apply it to your custom launcher. Next up we have, can I use the Wolf Launcher or really any of my custom launchers on our standard Android boxes? And the quick answer to that is yes. So here we can see my B-Link GT King Pro Box. And for me to change the launcher, all I need to do is just open up the browser. And on the latest tutorial, if I want to try out the Wolf Launcher, I should get the Shield version. Definitely don't get the Fire TV version on your standard Android boxes. I can get the Shield version. If I want to try the Leanback Launcher, I can also click on that. But for this demonstration, let's click on the Wolf Launcher for Shield. Let's scroll down and click on the green download button. It is a lot easier on the Android boxes compared to the other devices because all you need to do is just download the launcher and you're pretty much good to go. Let's download that. Click on open, like you want to install it. And let's click on install. And just while you're waiting guys, if you are enjoying these kind of videos, if you want to see more tutorials for the NVIDIA Shield Pro or the second generation Fire TV Cube or the 4K Fire Stick or all these generic Android boxes, then please do like this video and also think about subscribing because that really is the best way you can help support my channel. Thanks in advance. Okay, that launcher has now been installed. 
I can click on done. And watch what happens when I press the home key. I press the home key on the remote. And there it is guys, we now get a prompt asking us, what do you want to use as your default launcher? And we can see we now have Wolf Launcher in the list. So I can click on that. Now if I click on just once, here we are, we have the Wolf Launcher here. And by default guys, on Android normal boxes, you do get widget support straight away. And here we can just see I've got a widget for memory cleaning. Now if I press the home key again, we can see it then asks you again, which launcher do you want to use? So if you want to keep the Wolf Launcher permanently, if I click on always, that means now every time I press the home key, we stay inside Wolf Launcher. So definitely guys, it is a lot easier to use a custom launcher on Android. Just find any launcher from our website, install it, and the next time you press the home key, you can then choose that launcher to be your default launcher. Now quick tip here guys, how do you go back to the stock launcher? Because now when I press the home key, I can't change anything else. Well, the quick fix for that is if you go over to your settings, go to more settings, uh, go to apps, go to default applications, click here, and we can see we have the home apps. If I click on that, and I can now choose another launcher. So if I go to Light Home, I now press the home key, and we're back to the stock launcher. So that's how you basically get a custom launcher working on your generic Android boxes. Next up we have, how do I get widgets working on my Nvidia Shield or my Fire TV Cube? Now this is going to be a two part answer. So the first part is to give your launcher permission so you can actually use widgets on your device. And the second part is to actually install some applications which have a widget support. Okay, here we are on my Fire TV Cube and this is the same process for the Nvidia Shield. All we need to do is open up Remote ADB Shell and let's make a connection to ourselves. Let's click on connect and we're now connected. Now there's only one line that you need to type in but to make things easier, I'm just going to use copy and paste. So if I open up my cell phone and I'm going to use the Fire TV application which is available for Android and iOS to send that one line command into Roma ADB shell. So let me do that now. So here we can see my phone on the screen now. I'm just gonna go straight to my website which is just techdoctoruk.com, go to the tutorials page, scroll down, and here we can see that the first tutorial is the use the wolf launcher on those devices. Let's click on that. And if you scroll to the bottom of this tutorial, you should see there is a single ADB command that I'm going to copy. Uh, let's keep scrolling. Here we go. How to enable widgets. So the command starts as app widget and then so on and so forth. So I just press and hold that with my finger just so I can copy the whole command. Let's scroll to the right just to make sure we get all of it. So it ends with zero. So it starts with app widget and ends with zero. Now that's all highlighted. I can just press copy. There we go. I can now start the Fire TV application. Let me do that. Here's the Fire TV application. Now before I paste the command, if I just click on the bottom, so we can see the on-screen keyboard. So now we can see anything I type on my phone, get sent to the screen. But we don't want to type in anything, we just want to paste in that command. So if I press and hold at the top here, and select paste, that's the entire command there. So that's how easy it is to basically copy and paste commands from my website or from anywhere else directly onto your device. Let's click on run. Press the back button and we can see we get no error. That basically means now that my device is able to run widgets with the Wolf Launcher. Let's now press the home key. So that's the first part done. Now the second part is just, we now need to find some applications which will give you widget support. Now out of the box, on most of these devices, if you press and hold here, go to pick a widget, and here we can see some of the default widgets, and we can also see these weather widgets, which I've actually installed myself. Now to get these onto your device, if you bring up Aptoid TV, as we can see, it's just search for weather, and let's try this weather forecast. Now most of these are actually designed for a cell phone, but you can still use the widgets on your device. Let's click on install. Let's go for this one over here. And there we are guys, we now have that widget working on our device. But really you can find any application which does have the widget support and get those enabled on your device. The next question was, inside the Fire TV settings, what does the hardware button detection actually do? Well this in essence is how this process works, that this application, this Fire TV settings, actually looks out for the home press or the home button key press. As soon as it detects that button, it launches your custom launcher. So effectively you are just starting an application. Now as you can imagine if I turn that off, so this application is not monitoring for the home key anymore. If I click on save, and can you guess what happens when I press the home key? 
and we can see it just takes you back to your stock launcher. So if you did want to go back to your stock launcher for a bit or you're testing something out, that's one of the easiest way you can go back. So just go into your Fire TV settings and turn off the hardware button detection. And as soon as you want to go back to your custom launcher, we can click that again, click on save. So now when you press the home key, because the application is looking out for the home button key press, it should then launch the custom launcher for you. And we can see it's done exactly that. The next question I had a couple of times, um, and it's a quite strange one, but basically they were saying on the Nvidia Shield and on the Fire TV Cube, we do have a large sort of, you know, blank section at the top of our application list. And I personally think that looks a lot nicer as well. On the Fire TV stick, we can see there's just no way to have that extra space. A couple of you did try this option here where you go to sections and you try to create a new section. Uh, let's just call this, uh, let's just call it test. Uh, just to see if we can get like a, a nice sort of blank space at the top, just so we can, you know, appreciate some of the background wallpaper and stuff. So uh, let's just call it test for now. Click on apply. And let's now move that section to the top. Okay, let's click on close. And there we can see, although we do have a new section, because it's empty, we get the message saying that the section is empty. So, and of course that doesn't look very nice. So is there a fix? Yes, there is guys. So if you go back to my uh, website and on the latest version of the tutorial, make sure you do refresh the page. We can see here, I've now added in a Wolf launcher for the Fire TV, which has extra space. So I know it sounds really crazy, but you guys were asking for it. So for the people that need it, this is for you. Let's click on that. And the great thing is you don't have to uninstall your current Wolf launcher. You can install this on top of it if you do want that extra space at the top. So let me quickly install that now. Click on download. Okay, let's click on install. Let's click on done. Let's press the home key now. And there we have it guys. We have a nice empty section at the top. We can appreciate our wallpaper, appreciate our background. And if I scroll down, we can now access our applications. I do think having some of the wallpaper does look nice. And now you guys on the 4K Fire Stick can also enjoy this as well. So that's all for this video, guys. Once again, I'm here for you. This is the kind of stuff that you guys ask for. This is the stuff that you leave in my comments. So wherever I can, I do try my best to give you guys exactly what you want. So if you did find this useful, do give it a thumbs up. If you have any other questions regarding this, then please do leave me a comment below. Also, let me know if your question was actually answered in this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.